Hey guys, <clears throat> sorry for making you sit there so long, but uh, the camera surprised me. My little uh, thing popped up quicker, and it had my, you know, had the timer covered showing that I was actually recording. So I'm sorry about sitting there for like 10 seconds. But anyway, guys, it is me again. Today is, uh, let's see what today is. Friday, March 22nd, makes it day 81 on our David Bear Project 2013. Guys, as always, it's good to be here tonight. It's a, it's good to actually get to be here two nights in a row. Uh, <laughs> I've not actually got to do that in a while, so praise the Lord for that. But anyway, guys, I've got a lot of stuff I've still got to get done tonight. Got to get to bed, so I am going to get right to the uh, the important stuff tonight. I'm not going to have no jibber jabber. Going to get right to the important stuff, as we know that is the Word of God. So, Revelation chapter 22, last uh, chapter of the Bible, starting in verse 2. Here we go. Me and me so I'll pull over here. Through the middle of the street of the city, also on either side of the river, the tree of life with its twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit each month, the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Now we may have read that verse last night. I'm not sure. It's kind of something like we did, but if we did, we've read it again. No longer will there be anything accursed, but the throne of God will be in it. And his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And night will be no more. They will need no light or lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. And he said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. And the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, has sent his angel to show his servants what must soon take place. And behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is one who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I heard and saw them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who showed them to me. But he said to me, You must not do that. I am a fellow servant, and you and your brothers, the prophets, and with those who keep the words of this book, worship God. And he said to me, Do not seal up the words for the prophecy of this book, for the time is near. Let the evil doer still do evil, and the filthy still be filthy, and the righteous still do right, and the holy still be holy. Behold, I am coming soon, bringing my recompense with me, to repay every one for what he has done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes, so that they might have the right to the tree of life, and that they may enter the city by the gates. Outside are the dogs and sorcerers and the sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you about these things for the churches. I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star. And guys, I think that's actually, let's see, that's quite a few verses we've done. Let's see, that's verse 16. Uh, yeah, we started in what, verse 2 or 3, so that's where we're going to stop. We'll start tomorrow night, good Lord willing, in verse 17. Like I said, guys, thanks for being here again tonight. I hate to make such a short video, but I've got a lot of stuff to do, and it's late. And I'm just tickled to get to be here two nights in a row. So anyway, guys, I love you all. As always, if you need anything, let me know. Good Lord willing, I'll be back here tomorrow night. Until I see you all again, good night, and God bless.